We are here today to announce the presence of the first case of uh, coronavirus disease in Niger confirmed in Nigeria. We are taking this step in order to give the clear facts to the public, which we hope you will all report accurately and be one step ahead of rumors and speculations and fabrications <coughs> that tend to occupy the space, particularly the social media space at this time. And the case is that the Federal Ministry of Health has confirmed a coronavirus disease case in Lagos, Nigeria, known as COVID-19. Okay, COVID the case was confirmed on the 27th of February 2020 and is the first to be reported in Nigeria since the beginning of the outbreak in China in January 2020. It is an Italian citizen who works in Nigeria and returned from Milan, Italy to Lagos, Nigeria on the 25th of February 2020. He actually landed here in the evening of the 24th, but uh, by the time he got into his residence in Lagos already 25th, he was confirmed by the Virology Laboratory of the Lagos University Teaching Hospital, which is a part of the laboratory network of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. The patient is clinically stable with no serious symptoms and is being managed at the Infectious Disease Hospital in Yaba, Lagos. The government of Nigeria, through the Federal Ministry of Health, has been strengthening measures to ensure an outbreak in Nigeria is controlled and contained quickly. The Multisectoral Coronavirus Preparedness Group, led by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, has immediately activated its National Emergency Operations Center and will work closely with Lagos State Health Authorities, or let us say is already working closely with Lagos State Health Authorities to respond to this case and implement firm control measures. I wish to assure all Nigerians that we have been beefing up our preparedness and capabilities since the first confirmation of cases in China. And we will use all measures and resources made available by the government to respond to this case. We have started working to identify all the contacts of the patient uh, since he entered Nigeria and even those who were with him on the aircraft. We have been in touch with the aircraft authority, the aircraft owners, to uh, find out who his seatmates were, were. Please be reminded that most people who become infected may experience only mild illness and recover easily. But it can be more severe in other people, particularly those who are elderly, and those who have other underlying chronic diseases. All Nigerians should therefore take care of their own health and maintain hand and respiratory hygiene to protect themselves, protect their families and others following the precautions which I give you below. First, regularly and thoroughly wash your hands with soap and water and use alcohol-based hands and, and working very closely with the World Health Organization. World Health Organization, as we all know, is the world body concerned with looking after global health, checking out public health security and situations like this, and they, keep ad they, keep, they give advisory to all countries. Uh, the World Health Organization warned just the day before, I saw on the news, that all countries should brace themselves for possible entry of corona, spread of coronavirus into their own states. And since then, we have continued beefing up our own security. The second thing that's, that is said is that the coronavirus symptoms may not manifest within the first several days. So a person who gets infected may not man show any signs at all within the first few days, like three or four or five days and then the symptoms begin. So if that person has traveled within that window, they can get through anywhere and not be noticed. So the gentleman who came here apparently uh, may have gotten infected at a point, but walked through the scene, the uh, screening uh, with no symptoms. 
And by the time he got to his house, I think a day or uh, two after, he started to feel unwell. And uh, wisely enough, he went to a hospital. And there, the doctors examined him. And I believe they found that malaria was negative. And they knew the travel history and immediately, immediately referred him to, uh, for a test in Lagos at the uh, Luth uh, testing center. And there it was discovered that uh, he was positive for coronavirus and immediately put under isolation. In fact, he had been put on isolation from the re referral hospital uh, in a special uh, ambulance where the, the, the driver himself had been kitted. So there was pre-empty thinking on the side of the hospital and on the side of the drivers to transport him uh, under those very specialized conditions to the Infectious Disease Hospital in Lagos. The identity of patients is not generally released except with their own permission. So we're not going to tell you that his name is XYZ. And also the name of the company he works with will not be released without their permission. That's not uh, the normal practice. So he has immediately been put under very strict isolation and received the treatment. And the information I have this very morning is that it's stable the symptoms for all people will not be equally severe and in fact there are speculations that say that that think that up to 80 percent of people who get the coronavirus infection may show only mild symptoms or none and 20 percent will get very severe symptoms but all this is still under investigation as you know this has been described as a novel coronavirus which means it is new its behavior is not very clear and uh, there is a rapid uh, uh, um, trove of information coming out about it, which uh, is just beginning to enlighten uh, the, the public. Scientists are working very hard to know more about it. So it is not that there's a, a failure of screening. The screening went on very well. And it's not a, it's a, fa uh, it's a failure of anything else. But as a matter of fact, we need to commend the hospital for thinking ahead and not wasting time and taking necessary measures and commend Lagos State Government for responding very appropriately. What follows this to answer this second question is contact tracing. We look at all those people who, who this man has been in touch with uh, backwards from the day he was admitted and begin to go right back. Uh, the first point of call when anybody enters the country and remember we have always said that we suspect that by air is the most likely putative form of entry into this country, which is, turns out to be correct. And the first line of defense there is the Port Health uh, Services. The Port Health Services will be working with the airline to get the uh, passenger manifest and find out where exactly this gentleman was and also where he sat and also those who sat around him and, and see, uh, set up the monitoring uh, system for all the passengers and the crew members of that particular flight in order to be able to get information to monitor their state of health within the next 14 days. And for that questioning of the gentleman, we also reveal where he was, where all he went. All, all we know now is that he came from Milan, where he was before. It doesn't seem that he ever was in China. It doesn't seem so. So he may have uh, uh, acquired it as a form of a community infection from his own country. So the question of quarantine, the World Health Organization advises everybody all countries that there is no need to put every single traveler into quarantine 